You're entering a natural mystic zone. No penny, then we never. Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you are all well. My name is Natural Mystic. I am bouncing back. I hope you all are too. If you would like to click the bell button thing, but thumb, do that. Subscribe, please. how dry my lips was so I just went to go sort that out before continuing with this video <sighs> okay you know what I'm like I have these thoughts and opinions and when I'm watching something it triggers these types of videos so why have I been triggered tell me now we're waiting I don't know you know what I'm like I have these thoughts and opinions and when I'm watching something it triggers these types of videos so why have I been triggered I'm not saying anything against the LGBTQ I think there were two more letters IA or something like that or something forgive me if I've got that wrong again I'm not here to offend but I'm coming out And somewhere around here, I'll insert a clip of I'm coming out. So what makes me say this? What's, what's made me triggered to record this? Well, I remember back in the day. Back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit and wish I was a kid. When you used to meet somebody new, stranger, colleague somebody stumble across with at work oh my gosh please don't focus on that my hands are going to be staying right here i believe um it wasn't the first thing that i um told people about myself and when i say that i didn't discuss my sexual preferences as an opening conversation and it wasn't like you know Hello, my name is Natural Mystic. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. But I'm strictly dickly. So, where I'm going with this is that why is that we seem to wear this badge now? But rather than it being on our sleeve, it's tattooed on us. It's the first thing we speak about, comes out of our mouths. And it's really, really beginning to bug me. I didn't think there were many things that bugged me in life, but now I'm realizing my list is growing. So this is maybe a what boils my rice. Yes, yes, we'll add to that episode edition <laughs> series. <laughs> so that's what's boiling my rice at the moment, is that you meet people and unless I'm planning to sleep with you, I don't care who or what you sleep with. I'm just keeping it real. Okay. So before I go any further, let's just say, obviously, if it's a child, there's a problem. I'm not condoning that or promoting that in any way, shape or form. But as adults, consenting adults, I don't care who or what you are laying down with. Old saying, you lay down with dogs, your likelihood is you're going to catch fleas or smell like shit but that's just how I feel about this scenario so please stop boiling my rice and um, going forward just say hi my name's Sue my name's John my name's Peter my name's Caroline my name's Susan you know nice to meet you too and as to who your other half is, your counterpart, <clears throat> your weekend conquest, whatever it is, keep it to yourself. I don't need to know. Furthermore, who really cares? But I don't want to digress. I'll leave it right there. Thank you.
You're entering a natural mystic zone. No penny, then I never walk alone. Ancestors by 